welcome to my life in moderation today i'm going to share with you a tip that i have come up with being on having been on dialysis for so long and having had a chronic illness that i learned that has helped me over the years even just recently when i had to have a, proce a medical procedure done i had a what i call a go bag packed so that all someone had to do was come to my home and pick up my bag bring it to me in the hospital, had all of the essential things in it that I needed. So I was re, uh, I was going through the bag and, you know, getting rid of old things and washing everything. So I thought, why not share this tip? Because it is a really good tip and it's very practical and useful for people who live a lifestyle with chronic illnesses and who have found themselves spending a lot more, a lot of time in the hospital. So here we go. I have here the bag that I use. This is my go bag. Okay, so first, I have a panties in this bag. I have nine pairs of panties. I won't go through and show y'all my panties, of course, right? Um, in the hospital, you kind of want to have clean panties, even if you can't necessarily be hospitalized and have them on the whole time you're there. You will want some, I'm sure, when you're feeling better and certainly when it's time for you to go home so you can get dressed and go home if you wear that sort of thing. Everybody does that. Okay, then I have here my little bag here with, that are filled with little goodies and things that I like to take with me to the hospital. So... I keep my lotion in here as well because the lotion that they provide you with in the hospital, it's not that good and it doesn't really keep my skin from feeling dry. The soap that I use, Lubriderm, it's the soap that I use every, the lotion <laughs> that I use every day. I keep it in here. I, okay, so I'm gonna put these back there. Next, in this side, I have a few things as well that I like to keep in my bag. I have a deodorant. This I just had to, um, I had to update and replace this one, the one that I had because it had expired. So that is a tip to make sure you check the expiration dates every time you update your bag. I also have this dry shampoo. You won't necessarily be able to wash your hair if it's not because of an IV. It's because you just don't have the strength or you don't have the access to a shower or anything where you can wash your hair. Boom, dry shampoo. It's a good thing to use in a, um, you know, in the short term. I also have here some poopery spray that I keep in here. And this is pretty pricey. If I remember correctly, I picked this up at CVS for $10.99. I'm pretty sure this was $10.99. Um, <clears throat> so it's kind of expensive to just keep in your bag, but it's a good idea in the hospital. This will help you to, you know, freshen up the room so that it doesn't, yeah, you know, when I'm trying to get it. This is my perfume that I like to use on a daily basis. This is Happy by Clinique, which I love, and that is that. So not even if I don't use it while I'm in the hospital, I certainly can use it when I'm getting ready to go home because it does make me feel no more normal with the more normal things I can do in the hospital. So if I can spray it in the hospital, I will. If not, I certainly want to spray it when I'm fitting to go home. Fitness, that's what I said, fitness. I bet you knew what I meant. <laughs> okay, so that's what's in this little bag here. And this one, this is just a little makeup bag. I'm just using this. I didn't have to buy one, but again, you could probably find one that's pretty inexpensive or find something in your home already that you could use in this capacity. In here, I have my body wash. Oops, sorry. I have my body wash. Here's the Olay one. I just bought this in August, so I know it hasn't expired yet. And then this here is my baby oil because I use this in conjunction with my lotion because my skin is pretty dry because I'm diabetic. And even before that, when I was on dialysis, skin is pretty dry. So I use the combination of the lotion and the baby oil. And that really does seem to help, you know, every, that's what, what I use, excuse me, ma'am, <laughs> to keep myself moisturized. <clears throat> keep my skin moisturized. All right, so that's what lives in here. I'm gonna grab the bag and drop these in there next. I needed a new toothbrush and toothpaste. Again, they'll provide you these things in the hospital, um, but they aren't a very good, um, they aren't very good. So instead, I buy my own. I have a brush here. It's a little teeny brush, but it's, it does, it serves its purpose. But I'm deciding I'm gonna start keeping in this bag so that I'll have a brush in this bag and don't have to worry about having someone come to look for any of the things that I'm putting in this bag for me. I have some hair dress here that I use in the house. So you can see it's not completely full, but I did buy a new one. And so I'm going to just put this one in here just to keep my hair moisturized. I have here a spare a charging block and a charger core here that came with one of my devices. So I didn't have to buy an extra one. It was one that came in there. So I keep that in here. This here is my magnifier. I'm legally blind. I have to use a magnifier to read quite a few things. And so I'm going to, I've decided that I'm going to start keeping one in my to-go bag. All right, so that pretty much 
constitutes all of those essential things. Uh, but I also keep a few other things in here. So I keep some leggings in here. It's one, two, three, four pairs. Again, I didn't go out and buy leggings. These are just leggings that I already own. I will keep these in my bag as well because I like to wear them under my hospital gowns because a lot of times nightgowns that you pull over your head are not going to be um, conducive to having IVs and things like that. It makes it a little more difficult for you to change in and out of those things. So I just use the hospital gowns with leggings. That has always been, that has been sufficient for me over the last at least 10 years, right? Okay. And then also here, I keep these two. They are technically gowns. I wanna say these might even have been maternity gowns when I purchased them, but they zip, one of them zips and one of them buttons. So I can just slide them on like a robe and zip them up or button them up. And then that way, if I don't wanna wear a hospital gown or if I'm at a point where I don't need to wear a hospital gown, when I wash up, they'll just necessarily disconnect your IV. So you can just slip that on like a robe, boom, boom, and then you have your own nightgown on. So if you find something like that, that would be uh, pretty good to put in here as well. And I'm pretty sure that is everything. That is everything. I would also recommend to you to keep things that might entertain you like books, um, puzzle books, Sudoku, I love Sudoku, which I do it on my iPad now, but I mean Sudoku, um, a, a, a deck of playing cards. That's always something good to keep in here as well because that can keep you entertained so that you're not just finding yourself sitting in your bed watching television, you can get up sit in the chair and still have something to keep you to help you occupy your time i would also recommend that you keep an updated med list in your um in your go bag because they are going to ask you that a million and five times what meds you take what doses do you take and as you can see it's a pretty significant a, you know significant list here and i can remember some i can remember the names of everything but i don't necessarily remember dosages I can't remember how many times a day I needed to take it, but I don't necessarily remember the dosage of each pill. And they're going to ask you all of that because you're, you're going to need to be able to provide that, provide that to them because you're not going to take your meds with you. You're, they're going to give you medications while you're hospitalized. So also on this list, I wouldn't necessarily put name of a person, your emergency contact person, my sister, my father, or mine. I would necessarily say put on here the name of your primary care physician and their telephone number because again those are things that they are going to ask you that you are going to want to know you're not going to necessarily want to remember or have to look it up in your phone or anything like that boom it's already on your paper told you good tips for helping you be a better patient yes yes and when you're not feeling well god only knows you're not going to be able to remember or feel like or even want to be bothered all you gotta do is Hand them a list and then they can fill in the paper, they can fill in the blanks and you don't have to say a word. And trust me, when you are not feeling well, that thing right there, lifesaver. Also keep on hand, I would even necessarily keep a copy of your um, your insurance card in your bag. Not necessarily uh, the original, but put a copy in there because that's useful too. I mean, because I keep mine in my wallet, but you never know what circumstance you might be in, but if you have it in your go bag, boom, you're set. And even if you're not taking this with, even if this doesn't make it with you in the ambulance, someone is gonna be bringing that to you. So either way, so I keep one of that list that I just mentioned in my wallet and I'm keeping one in this bag. That is not something that I have done previously, but recently I made the decision to put one into this bag as well. So there was one in this bag um, whenever I was hospitalized the last time. I'm almost certain of it. All right, so that, my friends, and countrymen <laughs> is this bag it is all set to go for the next couple months so i hope that this was useful to you if there are anything that you can think of that you would add to this bag or if you have already had your go bag things that you have in your bag that i haven't mentioned please mention it in the comments below because i would love to know because it could be something that would be useful for someone else and necessarily for me that i don't necessarily have in this bag you know, I just thought of one thing, maybe even a pair of slippers, because they're gonna give you those little sock, those footy things, but I know it's diabetic, they don't really want you walking around barefoot, and although you're not barefoot with that, with socks on, I, but, uh, barefoot with slippers on is even better, you know, having slippers on, because then that's that much more protection between your feet and whatever could be on the floor that could hurt your feet. That's a whole nother topic is diabetic foot care and that I'm getting on, that I am learning about myself, that I do plan to share in the very near future. Um, if you like this video or if it was a video that added value to you, please click the like button below. And if this is a channel that you think might add some substance and some, some goodness into your life, please feel free. And I would hope that you would subscribe so that you can get notified whenever I post videos. Um, and thank you for joining me today. And I hope that I see you in the next one. Peace.